Today I'm going to show you a few quick animation techniques to add movements to your scenes. This technique can be applied to any object, so think outside the box. I'm going to demo on trees, but you can apply these techniques to any objects. So I've imported a tree from Cosmos. And the first thing I'm going to do is, in the animation I want it to fade in and out. So if we go back to our first frame and I'm going to turn on Auto Key and actually let's put it to frame 20. And I'm going to right click on it and go to Object Properties. And in here I'm going to change the visibility to zero. And I'll hit OK and we'll see that we have two new keyframes down here. So the trees disappear because it has a visibility of zero. And then when I scroll back, it has a visibility of one. So if I hit play, you can see our tree fades out. And if we want it to fade in, we can grab this keyframe, which is at one, I'm holding shift, and I'll click and drag that to frame 40. So now when I press play, it will fade out and then fade back in. So if I turn off auto key now, and let's say I just want the tree fading in, I can delete that first frame. And I'll press play and our tree will fade into our scene. Another technique we can use is the melt modifier. So I'm going to hold shift and create a copy of this. And let's delete these keyframes. I'll take it back to zero and let's add the melt modifier and I've got auto key turned on and I'm actually going to hit set key to make sure that this key is set and then at frame 40 let's melt our tree and then I'll turn off auto key and we'll see that our tree will melt and again, if you select that first frame, you can pull it up to whatever frame you want. And we're gonna have our tree melt and then it's gonna grow again from the ground. So if you got rid of that first frame, you can actually have your tree grow from out of the ground using that modifier, which can be quite an interesting technique. And finally, let's do one more and we'll just animate this one. So I'll make another copy I'm going to delete the melt modifier and delete the keyframes as well. And let's say on frame 60, we want our tree to be here. So I've set the key, I'm going to turn on auto key. But we actually want our tree to start under the ground and we want to rotate it up. So I'm going to pull that out of the scene as well. So now if I turn off auto key, when we press play, that should animate into our scene like that. And obviously you can speed it up if you select that keyframe and bring it in. That's going to, that animation will happen faster. There you go. So we could actually add a bounce to this. So if we turn the auto key back on, we could go over and then maybe five frames later, kind of bounces back. And then on frame 30, it ends in its main position. So now it looks like it kind of bounces up there, which can be a nice little addition. So there's three ways of animating objects in our scene. 